Okay, so today I'm going to set up this tank in this space. Maybe it goes well in there. So I'm going to start opening the stuff and then we'll see what this box brings. Okay, so here's the top of the tank. This brings some lights. And then this is the tank. So I think it's going to fit well here. Looks pretty good to me. But I have to do something first. I'll have to cover the back because I don't like the back to be with the window in the back. There's a lot of sun hitting and that could cause some little problems so I like to cover it. So let me do that. Okay, the cover is all done. It's gonna be black like the 10 gallon tank. So now you don't see anything behind it. The cables, all of that. Okay, so I have the gravel ready. So clean. Okay, it brings us filter but it doesn't look like a very good filter to me it's just like a Mickey Mouse filter so probably in the future I'm gonna have to probably change it for something better than this now it brings two of these and they go in here so I'm gonna take them out and see how this is gonna be installed in the back so basically once this is out of the bag, all you got to do is pop them in here. Now, I'm going to enhance that a little bit. I honestly don't like it too much. I don't even know if this is strong enough. I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to figure it out. Okay, so the way I'm going to enhance this a little bit is by cutting this sponge in half, which is an ammonia pad. So I'm just going to cut it out in half. And this ammonia pad is really good to prevent ammonia in the tank. Or at least help. So taking the filter, all I got to do is pop one in the front of that. See, like that. Make like a little sandwich. And you pop another one here or maybe here in the back where it holds better I can actually make it like this like a sandwich and then pop them in just press them a little bit and the water flow is going to be the same it's not going to really harm anything it's just going to help out that you know Mickey Mouse filter so I'm just going to now install this. So this is where the water comes out by the way. And this is the part of the filter that sucks in everything from the water in the tank. So this is supposed to go, there's a slit right on top and in, in the edge. And so this goes uh, right there, I guess. Like right there. Yep, that's where it goes. And the way this is going to be uh, locked down is with the lid of, of the light. But first we got to put water in it. I went to pick up some water. They sell you filtered water, which is much better than what I have here at home. And that's why I've had so many problems trying to level out the water in, the, in my other tanks. I guess you can't see, right? Okay, 
okay so the tank is set up uh, I think we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to get that you know that water that we need and then from there I guess I'll give you an update but so far it looks so, so good I mean it looks great so like I said this can be like my hospital tank and also it could be a quarantine tank uh, we'll see that's that's the whole purpose of that tank um, I bought it really cheap it was on sale for like 20 bucks I mean <laughs> for that size it's pretty neat that you can find it at that price that's that's why I bought it but I definitely think it's gonna need a better filter um, so let me uh, show you uh, the 10 gallon tank this one by the way I'm sorry I forgot to tell you is a 3.5 gallon tank and my beautiful tank which I I like the most is 10 gallon tank one eternity later so guys I finished putting this tank all together and it really doesn't look like a hospital tank it looks like another tank that I'm ready to put fish in it I didn't like the idea of not having anything at all so I came up with that and I like it I bought this new plant this is a let's see a Rosette Zord it's a live aquatic plant and snail free it's a medium plant mid ground one count so it tells you you know the specifications of this spe specific plant over here I thought it was kind of nice and I picked up the one that had the most like it, it looks like striking there so I really really like it same way with the decoration and I got some rocks uh, the rocks are from outside this is a pretty cool feature of the tank too like in my bigger tank you just have a little hole to put the food in there this one has actually a lid and so if you want to put food in the tank you just pull that up and just drop the food but you can also just pull it up and then remove the top and the reason why I'm removing the top is because I want to show you what I got in there alright so what we got here is the filter that the tank bring so what I did is I added like the ammonia sponge just for precaution and there is also a small thermostat in there saw some videos and they recommend this product is called leaf zone I don't know if it's good or not but so far it's been doing good on the plants so not only for this aquarium uh, it's for the 10 gallon and the mini tank over there so let me show you Sebastian see the plant at the beginning was doing very well but then I noticed that it was decaying and that's why I got that product people talk marvelous things about that product so I put a few drops in there just to enhance the plant and give them some you know food so it survives because it was really getting bad actually there was a leaf somewhere I don't know if I let's see I don't know if you can see it from there but there was a leaf running around somewhere here yeah it's like right over there where the moth ball is and so I was getting worried that all the leaves were gonna get like it was very pretty because if you see my previous video you could see that the plant was very very pretty but it's been decaying a little bit I don't know too much about plants um, in the past I used to just just plastic plants and things like that so it's kind of like another new thing to learn but I'm learning so we'll see and that's Sebastian he's, he's becoming gorgeous every every day he looks more pretty <laughs> he likes it. He knows that I'm here because he's 
hungry. He wants to be fed, but not now, buddy. Later, later. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, I hope you like my new tank. It's looking really, really good. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to watch more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up and then I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye.